How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astacool. This is RimWorld. Let's get to it. So party people, I know you're panicking about the ship. I know we should have just built um, the reactor, walled it in, clicked to start it, dealt with the attacks, then built it from there. However, party people, I, I love being, I love playing this game. I love playing this game and I love the nervous energy that it's bringing. I love it. I love it. I feast on it. Uh, we do need to sort out this um, infestation today. That's our main priority. Basically just going to burn them out. It's no problem. We'll wait for them to go to sleep. Other than that, it's the same old jam. We need to basically get everything to fix this ship. Marine armor, from what you guys are saying, would be really beneficial. Uh, whether we get there or not is going to be highly dependent on the amount of steel that we can be bringing to the colony. Uh, component, advanced component wise, we're fine. How much steel is left over here? Not a lot, but we do have a big source of steel here. We have some plast steel here, um, some jade here. So we have some options of stuff to do. And we are doing more scanners as and when we can. So you might say we're on track for a winner. Yeah. Um, well, I'd have liked them to have gone to sleep, but then the, um, the episode's... Sound like they are mining out quite quickly, these. Which actually makes me a little bit nervous. It'd be a strange way to um, end the series by getting killed with um, an infestation, not going to lie. Um, that uh, mad boomalopes, is there a lot, is there? Hmm. Fair few. Uh, let's tell everyone to stay inside. Ooh, I don't know if we're going to get to the door in time. We should... Got two doors here. Uh, I think dinosaur's quite quick, isn't it? Yeah. Get him to go here. Everyone's been told to get inside. Just going wide. Just so oh no, they're going to run straight into the max. Which is a bit dis. Colonist needs treatment. Well, I'm assuming it's not my colonist. Which well. Okay, why why are we going in here? Because the zones have changed. Because the zones have been changed. Inside, inside, under attack. Opens these doors. Wow, that would have been a way to um, eliminate everyone. So I imagine purple, if I click on him, got attacked by the box. Have to delete this down here because they will go through unmarked zones to get to zones which frustrates me to no end so purple if we go to his health yep got hit by a claw the doors are shutting which is fine i will just allow this door just so that actually gets built uh, asleep 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 Dinosaur, have you got an incendiary launcher? Gusta, 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 can you get an incendiary launcher, please? The new armory looking sharp and clean. That's what we like. Okay, he's going to come down here. Then let's go speed one, just so we can maintain control. A bug hive is reproduced. I mean. I'd be disappointed if it didn't. And this is why we have this door system. Because if we only had that door, it'd be a pain in the bum. So I want to click that door, hold open. I want him to get there. Whoops. And he needs to just burn enough of this. I'm keeping an eye on the temperature. I'm going to burn a little bit more just because they're right up here. Right, back to speed one just in case they rush them. Because as the temperature builds, they'll get more aggressive. Rightly so. Who likes being hot? Hot and bothered. Right, let's go on speed two. Right, it's 50 degrees. Adorable rats quest has come in. I might have a look at that. Right, there we go. Now, Gusta undraft. No, actually, I'll draft him to run him out. There we go, then undraft. 
There we go. He'll run away. That's getting nice and hot. Love it, love it, love it. Adorable rats. Um, so 11 rats. Uh, they're suffering, must be kept in bed. I mean, nah, I ain't building rat beds. It's a bit of ratty business. <laughs> um, health, so they've all got, um, heat stroke. I can hear them all mining out. It's rather negative. Heat stroke, the room's still going up. Heat stroke, 35. That's not really good enough, is it? Okay. Gusto, draft. Let's do this carefully. The reason why I've got Gusto is because he's got a jetpack. Okay, the bug's positionings. Aren't great for me, not going to lie. Um, so if I hold this door open, turn fire will off. Right, because then he can jetpack, because then I can click the door, change it, he can jetpack out, so he'll be absolutely fine. So as long as he doesn't hit a bug, we should be okay here. Which is... I think because he's further, far enough away from the hive that the bugs aren't too concerned. But if he hits a bug, it will auto-aggro them. My thumb is on the space bar, so I'm ready to... Um, click what I need to. How much is heat stroke on everyone? It's serious. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough. We can come back. There we go. And he'll shut that door behind him. Perfect. And we do have to be careful because it's getting hot. So gusto. Gusta. Can get in a bit of trouble. No, we might have burnt too much. We should have kept it to one pile. Hopefully that's not too bad. We need this to start to fade, really. Because now the bugs are mad. So they'll start attacking anything. Health-wise, extreme, 70. Okay, no, the fire's going away. Be great if they could get 100%. Some bugs, however... If I click on these, I've just got serious. So this is the problem. If you wait too long and some spawn, then some have more heat stroke than others. And creates this weird thing. It's still hot enough that they're getting it. This is a problem. Still 100 odd degrees. A lot of these are going to die. It's just the next batch and not. Inspired trade. The question is, is how many are alive? Seven of them. Some of them have gone down. So what's your heat stroke? Oh, you will die. You've got it serious. Temperature's still pretty high. Then I want to see how many are left to see if we can send the squad in or if we should play it safe. So two of them are up. That's manageable. And five of them. Hmm. It's not not manageable. Do you know what I mean? Heat stroke is going down now. No, it's still going up. The temperature in the room, 71. So when this percentage starts going down, then we have to either decide. Because if we burn it again, I think it's safe to say the first lot of bodies that have gone down. There we go. Shooting down now. Okay, let's get the whole squad. Christopher. Just want everyone to have proper guns for this. He's in that. Rat's got that. Chieftain's got that. Aisha's got that. Okay, let them all equip these. And then we'll take the whole squad in. 
Cool. They're all bored anyway, so... Let's have a little bit of fun. A little bit of bug killing. There we go. Right, hold open all these doors. Alright, are we ready? So this bug here is going to be a little bit of a problem. Right, purple's moving in because then we can stun him, which allows the squad to move in. Dog can come over here. I just need to take this really careful so you can hear the brain trying to concentrate. As long as we get all these stuns in, we're absolutely fine. Lovely. Okay, we've got some more coming in. Stun him. Dog just moved back one. Purple, come over here. Stun him. And stun him. Lovely. Chieftain. Got some more coming in. Why we just to be fair, this is how powerful having two people with stuns is, do you know what I mean? Just means you can control the situation so well. Okay, let's move everyone down. I would normally melee these, but because there are some still um alive, we're just gonna come down really carefully. Because we know these hives are spawning, and instead of clicking them all and checking them. We're just going to bring everyone down really, really slowly. And then we can control the narrative of this. And then it means we get lots of bug meat. Spoils in 2.2 days. To just replenish stocks. Then if traders come. We've got more stuff to sell. And being able to sell to traders is pretty legit. Okay, Iomero undraft, Chris undraft. I'm just undrafting some people that their moods are not superb for like messing around and bug killing. Okay, is there there's one more hive? I thought there was one more bug alive, but maybe the squad took it out. There's one sleeping there, it's two sleeping there, it's three, four, five, there's quite a few. Thought there was. Some down here. Let's just back up a little bit. We've only got one stun, although he's chieftain and he is the man. Are we all on fire at will, yeah? Then can we actually fire at will? There we go. I appreciate these bugs being friendly, but I don't really want to be friendly with them. Uh, is he definitely going to die? He's not. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes if you don't do enough damage, they'll still pop back up. As fun as that is. Still one over there. There's a couple sleeping over here. Don't know why they're not... I wonder if it's because they're technically friendly now the hive has gone. I don't really know how that works. Oh, nice shot. Right, come up here. There's still a few more. So you have to be careful, because otherwise you, when you're hauling out all these, it can get a little bit messy. I wonder if they're friendly, and that's why we're not auto-firing at them. Which is interesting. It might not be that they're friendly, it might just be that they're... They understand, <laughs> they're done. They're done for, son. Dog running in. Attack! Still some down here. Still want to be careful, just... We're probably being overly cautious, but at the same time, I don't want to get a boring infection just because we're not paying attention. I have seen another one. Where's this bug gone? He's literally running from us. There we go. 
I did see some more snoozes up here. So if I zoom out and I double click the snoozer. Okay, it's not clicking on anyone else. So I think this is the last one. Probably just as well as I'm seeing everyone's moods decay a little bit. There we go. Undraft everyone. We will change this to max. Is that the one we were on? Let's have a look. Nope. We were on real home zone. Perfect. The Boomalopes got murdered by the turrets. These mech clusters being up is actually brilliant. Everyone's on mechs. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's allow all that. Then we will allow all this. And then we're going to have a little bit of time. Well, actually, everyone apart from the cook, or the cooks, I should say, is going to go on one... If I do this, this might be better because then cleaning gets done as well. Uh, you're a cook, so no thank you. I think cleaning is probably more important at the moment. Saying that, we're trying to haul all this food, so... There we go. So hopefully all these get hauled as quickly as possible so we don't lose too many. Probably don't need that many people on clean, to be honest. As long as we have a couple, we should be good in the hood. Because priority is making sure all this uh, bug me actually comes out. So there we go, two cleaners. The rest is on haul, apart from the people that are cooking. And that gives us a little time just to get our, get our stuff in order. Which I love. Now the question is, is, is Cassandra going to leave us alone to actually thrive? I mean, we've got 7,000 silver. Like, we're in a good point in this colony, it has to be said. A little bit stalled by dealing with the infestation, but we're getting stuff out of it. Do you know what I mean? So it's not negative. Right, rat. Are you a cook? Come on then, ratatouille. Let's... Star Butcher. So we want to clear the space so the bodies are coming into the freezer because the problem we have is where we get too much, then the overflow starts going in here and then it will start rotting. Um, bionic ear, no more bionic parts. You can hear loads of explosions, but I think that's where them wanderers. Like the devastation that these turrets bring to anyone that comes down here is hilarious. Confusion, Komodo, yeah, that's fine. Alright, as long as stuff doesn't start... Okay, there was a body. I think it was went to go up there. Okay, we have got bug meat and bugs coming in here now, so not great. I mean, I think it's just a pure case of not having the room now. Which sort of is what it is. There's not really much we can do to expand this. Um, Maya, are you a cook? Remind me. You are, you are, you are. Can you just, like, just butcher? Just butcher, butcher, butcher. All night long. All night. All night, butcher all night long. That is actually my voice, because I hear you guys saying in the comments, like, that singing voice definitely isn't you. It's superb. It is me party, people. J j just in case, because I know that was a question that was uh, roaming around. Awesome. The bug meat going up here isn't great, though, I'll be honest. I could call this, but this is a lot of uh, a lot more electric than I really want to do. Chem fuel... How long until these bodies actually rot? 19 hours. Mia Maya, who? Where's Rat? Okay, you are making meals. Maya, start making the meals. Because actually the stacks of bug meat. Exotic's good trader. Hello, good timing. 
Aisha, you're the best one, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. Right. Please take some of the bug meat. This could be this could be like game changing. Every trade now, because we've got so much like sway in what we can sell. Sadly not. We can sell package survival meals that sell all of them. We've got the food to make them again. Sell insect jelly. Sell. Is that all we've got to sell? But I forget, we've actually got a lot of gold. So we have oh, a lot of silver, I should say. So that's like 8,000. So anything we want, we can buy. Could buy a, a love enhancer. Hmm. Brain wiring. Uh, can craft brain implants that induce or prevent blunt sensations like joy or pain. Interesting. What does this do? For toxifying attacks. Healing factors. Healing enhancer. That that enhances the healing progress. Mm, interesting. Okay, no steel or anything like that. They've got gold, but I don't feel like we need to buy them with our gold stocks at the moment. Glitter World Medicine is really good. So let's take all the advanced components. Let's take all the components. We want a load of this so we can keep making our medicine. So can we get like 150? We can. Of course we can. Oh, what else do we need? Can we take all your plus steel? Yeah, of course we can. I would like some glitter world medicine because then we can start actually healing people. We can sell more stuff, but we haven't got any more anything to sell unless we want to sell gold, which I don't really want to. I think that's a good deal. Makes me want to make more package survival meals, to be honest. Let's get rid of them. That creates more space in here. If survival meals is something they like... To be fair, I don't think we've got to that yet. Uh, where is Raticus? Can you start cooking? Because actually, we can make a load more of these survival meals. That would be great. Let me just make sure what these survival meals are actually made out of. Yeah, they are made out of insect meat, so that's a good way to make money, to be fair, for us. I mean, it's not a good way to make money. What I mean is, like, because we because we have such an overflow, and I would rather use it than lose it, like, therefore it's a good money, because it's just like, well, we've got it anyway. It's not a problem. Could do with one more cook, really. Yeah, I'll leave it. Right, how are we doing on hauling? Okay, we've basically hauled all the bodies. It's just a case of how much. It's a shame they wouldn't buy the insect meat or anything like that, to be honest. Okay, Aisha, get on the phone with them. We can sell... I thought we had more survival meals. Perhaps not. A bit disappointing. Used all our money on that. I think it's worth it. We're all getting hauled. Like, that's the survival meal, isn't it? Or is it outside? Where is... Um, I can't see where the beacon is. It's there. Ah, so it's just outside the beacon. So really, we need, like, a beacon in this corner. Iomero, can you get that beacon up? We need steel. Fair enough. Do have a bit more insect jelly that's come up here. So Aisha, get on the phone. Every little helps. Will they not buy anymore? We have got some insect jelly. Don't tell me that's outside a beacon as well. That shouldn't be. Oh! Reinstall that there. That's painful. Hi, Amira, can you do that now? Just because it's a bit more coinage that we can get out. Every little extra helps. There we go. So sell. Yeah, look, 200 odd. Sell that. Thank you. You've got to remember, not everyone... Not all the traders will take it. So if we can sell as much as we can now. That's just a bit of coinage we have for the next traders that come in. Sell all that. 
Come on. Sell all that. And look, we went from like zero coinage to now actually we've got quite a bit. You're going to come and trade again. There's more insect jellies coming in. There we go. I love this gold increasing or the silver increasing. Okay, we did good. Shame they wouldn't take some of the bugs. Rat, are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Um, is there any way we can expand this freezer? So we're going to lose a lot of bugs. We could put... The problem is we don't have steel. I mean, when stuff rots, it just rots. We've tried to make the most of it. Like, there's not much more we can do than that, I suppose. Is how I'm going to look at it. Would have been nice. We've still got the trade ship here, right? I might actually... Wake up everyone, which probably isn't the best thing in the world that I'm doing. Can we wake up everyone? We might not have enough time, but I do want to risk it just because the amount of coins that we're actually making from this. Can we get everyone up just to haul some insect jelly quickly? Because I know the trade ship isn't going to last forever. So it would actually be nice to get as much coinage... As we possibly could, just because it gives us more buying power when combat traders and stuff like that come. Okay, that's probably going to be the last lot that we get, so let's get Aisha. Ah, just left, just left. We were so close. Never mind, never mind. I was going to put some coolers in here, but as we can see, these bodies have already decomposed, which is brilliant. Whole episode. No, 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 but if you look how much we did save, though, it's not... Not crazy. Maya's still making meals. Maya, after you eat that, I could probably do with you just butchering, to be honest. That would probably be more helpful. Bug meat is going into the normal stockpile. I mean, it's got two days freshness. Research-wise, are we sort of done on that aspect? I don't think there's much more we need. multi barred weapons. That was a minigun. Moisture pump. No, thank you. Could do marine armor. I mean, the problem is we don't really have the resources for it. All right, let's go work. Bring everyone down. We have worked people quite hard, so breakdowns could be imminent. I think we can avoid them just because... Of the mood boost that we do give everyone. Right, then hopefully, yeah, deep drilling will get back on track now, which is lovely. Yeah, Chris is making chem fuel, lovely. That's out of bug meat as well, so there's no fungus then at least then he'll make out a bug meat so the bug meat won't go to waste and it's really nice because it just gives us so many mood boosts it's pretty glorious exhausted recreation deprived yeah i've been drafting people quite heavily inspired trade aisha i mean we just need to get people that want to trade with us to be honest um, the deep drills aren't working up here. Let's make sure it's in there. Yep, everyone's in there. Just check the zones once more. Okay, okay, okay. We did have, I saw in the selling, we had another drill arm, I think it was. Another drill arm. So who are our drillers? Just because this will give us dog. Did we give you one in the end? No. Oh, yeah, you've got a drill arm. So I think we were going to give it to Asamir, right? Asamir. Yeah, you're a miner, so you can come down. You don't have any bionic parts. So we've got operation, add this. Drill arm. I'll put it on your left arm because you're a righty, so. 
There we go. That's all sorted there. Then we'll get... Mm, Mel's having a breakdown. Maya's not good. Chieftain, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, you're good. So I get Chieftain to do it for a change. Look, they get plus mood by just being around Aisha. Right, prioritise on operating. Visitor's relationship. Well, I mean, you're just about to die to um, a stampede of mechanoids, so have fun with that. I mean, Chieftain's medical skill is still fairly good at 11. So needs must and all that sort of stuff. But then that'll make him a lot better at deep drilling and stuff like that. I don't know if it actually helps him in fighting. Like, it says he does, but I don't know if it helps if he's already got a melee weapon or if it just means, like, with your bare hands. So I'm not really too, too sure. But either way, it's not like we're relying on them. We're more relying on our melee to, like, block the enemy combat supplier. But again, they're just going to run into mechanoids. Which is a bit of a problem, but not one I'm willing to sort out. 4,000 silver. So it actually became out of that really, really nicely. Do you need to get back on the steel train, though? That's the only problem. Probably next episode. It's probably going to be time to like move these down. I mean, it is getting done just incredibly slowly. But I suppose we have been busy this episode with infestation, stuff like that. And we've chatted, we've had a good time, haven't we, party people? If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.